Hey, what's up guys, Xander Cartwright. We got a lot going on today with stimulus, what's happening in the news around the country. We've got some stuff to cover to keep you updated on what's happening around stimulus, the world, and your money. And also some stuff on billionaires' money, which we uh, could get a piece of it. Maybe, I doubt it. Do you think we'll actually see it? Throw it in the comments below. Oh, also you could win $2,000 by doing that. I'll talk about that in a second. We've got some things to cover here. One, Biden's billionaire minimum income tax would hit more than just billionaires. Hmm, interesting. I suspect that it'll probably hit us more than the billionaires because billionaires have a way of hiring those pesky little things called lawyers. And those lawyers tend to find loopholes and then they end up not paying again, but the rest of us, it lands on our shoulders to to cover whatever new law came up that slipped through the billionaires and landed on our lap. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll keep you posted. Also, Ocasio-Cortez to Clarence Thomas, resign or face impeachment. Now, can a justice be impeached? I'm going to cover that uh, towards later on in this, in the, in this part. Um, can, did she speak out of context? Did she not, does she not know the law? Because she said a lot of other things that, you know, we know that cannot actually happen. So, but hey, she's fun. I'm going to talk about what's happened in history about that. That I'll save to the last, some of the last parts because we want to get into the good stuff like three key stimulus for universal basic income. I know that you guys are not a big fan of that, but application deadlines are next month and you could get $4,000. So I don't want you to miss out on that. Basic income offering effect providing 1,000 monthly payments right now and also stimulus check to uh, child care credit may give eligible families up to $16,000. So that is happening, folks. So we're going to cover that also. Russia says it's dramatically reducing military activity. This is the best news we've heard in over a month. We're going in the second month of the war. They, um, the Russians and the Ukrainians are sitting down right now in a face-to-face -face meeting in Turkey live as we speak. And it looks like they're making good progress. The stock market has shown favorability to that. So we are, this is good news. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll get returned back to uh, where we won't have to deal with these unbelievable gas prices. And maybe it woke us up that we should not be as dependent as we are. So find out about the $6.4 billion, that $350 million, and for you, how several, several stimulus and UBI program deadlines are happening very, very soon. Many of you think, well, yeah, the stimulus is gone. No, stimulus today just to be frank, requires a little work, like filling out an application. It just doesn't come in the mailbox. I wish it did, folks. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, people that are in a hole, in a financial bind and having trouble as a result of the pandemic, SSI, SSDI hitting you guys with just ridiculous inflation, ripping a hole in your finances, where you're getting to the point where a lot of people have commented in the comment section that you're only eating one meal a day, and having a lot of trouble. My goal is to help you find the access to government as well as private money. Also, I'm giving away $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. We're close. So please consider subscribing and you could win $2,000. It works like this. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you like the content I do, I do a lot of research to figure this stuff out. Each of these are well-resourced articles with typically um, lots of sources. So it takes time to put it together, about 2,000 words and about 15 minutes to get you up to date and up to speed. All you gotta do then is like the video, please, and throw a comment. We're gonna pick a random comment, launch out $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. Also, if you need a loan and you have a business and you wanna scale it, it's how you make more money is by scaling your good business, a good business model is scalable, a bad business model that doesn't make money, I, money might not be good for you. It might be like putting gasoline on a fire. Maybe your business is burning. But if it's not and you need a loan, basically up to $5 million, it got you covered, 12 different programs. Hit the link in the description called Loans. It's what I've been doing since 2009. It's what I did all during the pandemic was put get out money to people. Over 67,000 applications, thousands of loans I got out to people and money and free money and grants 
all to help them out. There's lots of programs with the SBA and, and disaster relief all around the country. There's money people don't know about, unclaimed money, all kinds of stuff. So I definitely don't want you to miss out on that. Um, also, I have a real estate program, 99 bucks, resource list. Spent $40,000 on my education for this. The, the cost of the program is like 10% of what it should be. It's $99 right now, and it's incredible. So the first two videos are free. Uh, it goes through, and it's, it's an incredible course. So make sure you check it out. $45 million I have in the course worth of experience. So please, take it. Take a look at it. If you like it, make sure you grab it. But first, let's talk about money. You can expect soon with some important deadlines to remember. There are three key stimuluses and basic universal income application deadlines in the next month, and <coughs> you can get up to $4,000 for these. First, there's the state launch of the New Jersey Fund worth $40 million to provide relief to workers in New Jersey. Residents, including undocumented immigrants affected by the pandemic, who wasn't affected by the pandemic? Were you? Let me know in the comments, please. This is one I've talked about several times in the last month and so, but this is a huge one. So don't worry, I have more. There's more coming out every single day. There's new stuff, new pivots, new applications, new deadlines, new criteria, all kinds of new stuff. All the way to 2028, folks, believe it or not, they have trillions of dollars to still roll out 850 billion still in states wondering what do we do with it well california's got a program there's the west hollywood pilot program the guaranteed income which opens on the 25th so applications will be accepted through tomorrow sunday march um i all the way through so we're we're basically make sure you fill out this program the ubi program new york also has a thousand dollar program eligible artists in new york can stay uh, and apply for no strings attached during that one. Also, during the pandemic, many groups suffered high unemployment, quite, quite like artists that just couldn't do what their craft would have them to do, especially with not being able to interface with the public. And that's why the Creative Rebuild New York initiative was launched by Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, which supports artists and humanities. So arts is a pretty broad category, folks. It's not like just people who paint. It could be theater, it could be lots of different things if you fall in the category or making or supporting arts. So go get your hands on this money. Check out the link in the description where many people are gonna sell themselves shorts, short and not actually apply for the program. Residential assistance programs and also UBI programs are also there. Meanwhile, we have another $1,000 stimulus UBI to talk about. There is a basic income program now officially in effect giving out $1,000 monthly payments to select families right now. This is one of many UBI pilot programs we've seen open up across the country. The program gives these massive $1,000 uh, monthly sums to direct cash payments to 3,200 families for 12 months. No strings attached in this program. This UBI program is particularly in, and it's happening in Los Angeles. So if you're not Los Angeles, Make sure you grab this particular program so that you can get that $1,000 a month. That makes LA the largest city in the United States to launch a basic income program. It was spearheaded by council member current price of District 9, so you can Google that, whose office is particularly funding this initiative. So check in, Google that just simply after the video, current price District 9. Again, there are UBI programs opening up across the country and something tells me we're going to be talking about this for quite some time as they test these programs. That alone with rental assistance, I've posted in the description and also all 50 states along with the UBI programs as much as 33 programs. And second till finally, we got two left, families may be eligible for up to $16,000 this year, but you have to act soon. This year's tax season began Monday, January 24th. It began a while back. Right After filing their tax returns, parents may expect to get the remind, remainder of the child tax credit money, but that isn't the only huge benefit for parents this season. The child independent care credit also has a maximum effect return increasing to $4,000 for one kid and $8,000 for two more. That means that the maximum return in previous years were $1,050 to $2,100 respectively. The child independent care credit allow, allow taxpayers to deduct the amount spent 
on child and dependent care expenditures such as daycare, babysitters, or associated transportation for their, for their, uh, regarding taxes. Parents who paid for child care in 2021 can claim $8,000 in costs for one dependent or $16,000 for multiple dependents, more than one, two, according to a one-time increase in the American Rescue Plan. In addition, the uh, return rate on child tax credit costs has raised from 35 percent, and a lot of people don't know this, to now 50 percent. According to the IRS, child and dependent care costs must be work-related in order to qualify for the credit. It also means one of two things. Your spouse is unable to care for themselves, or if your spouse is mentally or physically a dependent, dependent on you. So I really hope that I hope this helps you and you can raise, you can get that extra money, the extra 15% to make, it makes a big difference. And again, tax season is well underway. We're almost to the end of it. So hopefully we'll get there soon. Also, in regards to uh, Costa Cortez and Clarence Thomas, we have got to cover that. Well, it is true. Right now, the Constitution states that justice, the justice shall hold the office during good behavior. This means that the justice holds office as long as they choose and can only be removed from office by impeachment, which would mean Congress would have to convene and they would have to have a basically like a trial, an impeachment trial, which would take lots of money, lots of time, and essentially then a vote to decide whether to impeach them or not. Now, it begs a question. If your wife or husband or partner, well, if they text you or have a different opinion other than yours and they influence you, should this cost you your job? I think it's a delicate question to ask. And does this mean that Clarence Thomas, Justice Clarence Thomas, can't make up his own mind, can't decide for himself what he thinks? And also a reminder, it wasn't like he wasn't the only one who voted on that. There were others. So it wasn't just him that actually blocked the vote to put out the information that uh, they're so enraged by. And it's something I think that they can pound on because it is something that excites and divides us all. It seems like our politicians have one mission, really, and that is for us never to get together and actually work towards a common solution because then they wouldn't be able to pit us against each other. Um, I think, as far as I'm concerned, politicians are a rough mix. I hate them all. So at any rate, take care. That's the scoop on what could happen to Justice Thomas. Now, the Democrats do rule the House and the Senate, but this would be, they'd have to get quite a few people on board because then the next time around, when they're passing justices in like they are now, um, it could be tough uh, to get them in there. Anyway, I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Love you.